Welcome back everybody, it's part two of Pixel Power and we are going to now reveal what the challenge should look like. Voila! <laughs> little Creeper Man, that's right, you made Little Creeper Man using the coordinates on your Cartesian plane. Now your greens might be a little bit different but the obsidian and his nose and mouth should be pretty much exactly right. So congratulations on that. So what we're going to do today is look at plotting points in a line. That's right. Instead of just making pictures, we're going to plot points in a line and see what we come up with. Because there's some really strange things that happen when you plot lines. And let me show you. So let's begin by placing some blocks. Or as we should call it, plotting points. So these are the points that I'm going to plot. And I'm going to make it a straight line. Beautiful. And I'm going to make it go this way as well. That's right. So it goes through the origin, through zero. Oh, I do love my emerald. Yes, I do. There we go. So I'm going to do that, and I can make it go for infinity. I'll just be here for 3,000 billion years. Or I could just stop there to show that it goes through. Okay, so there's my line. Isn't that beautiful? Here's some other lines that a student of mine called Brody did for you. As you can see, they all go through the center bit. Now, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. I'm going to make it here. What's that got to do with that? Well, I'm going to show you something very cool. M is a little letter that is going to represent how steep this line can get. Now, the cool thing about Minecraft is that you can walk this. Alright, so if I walk this, I can jump up. I don't know why I can't do it in that view. <laughs> so I go this way. So I can jump up quite easily. Okay, it's quite a, a steep slope, but I can do it. No major deal. Let's choose um this cool block here. Let's don't clay. Let's do another one. I'm gonna make it this time. See that I'm gonna go up two like that. That line's a lot steeper than the other one. A bit hard for me to jump up on that one. The other green one's easy to jump up. So I got some diamond. This time it's going to be a much slower, easier step. So I'm going to go across two, up one. Like that. Yeah, it's a much smaller slope there. So now I've got all these lines that tend to go through the middle here, but they've all got different slopes. This one's much steeper. This one's pretty easy to walk up. This one's much easier to walk up. So, what has that got to do with this cute little M over here? Well, we can actually give that slope a number. And because, well, we're, we're crazy, we're going to call this M. I oh, know, not S for slope or G for gradient. M. Okay, this slope we're now going to call gradient because it's, it's more mathematical. So, how the heck do you work out? the value of the gradient. It's really easy. You can do it so easy in Minecraft, it's unbelievable. All you have to do is work out the number up and the number across. That's right, the number up and the number across. And you put it into a little formula. So, if I just put a cute little equal sign here because I can, that equals, all right. So the number up, I'm going to call that the rise. You rise up, okay? Rise. And that is divided by the number across. So, if that's true, 
then we can work out by just jumping all over the blocks what it is. Probably you there. So that's gonna be kind of cool. There we go. This is a beautiful end. Okay, look at this end. It's an amazing end. I so stuffed it up. Let me try that in. I, I, I'm gonna build it, honestly. Honestly, I, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. N. See? That's an N. Ish. <laughs> okay. So it's rise over run. So, that means if I imagine I'm on the green, and I've gotta to get to the next green, I've gotta go up one, across one. So the M of that one, well, let's get a chalkboard to work this out. Do, 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 do. I got one. Okay. I got a chalkboard. Alright. So, if my M equals rise over run, then N in this case is up one, across one. Now, M is equal to one. One divided by one is one. That's pretty easy. So what about, oh, ooh, ooh, I just thought something cool. If I put that off there, it would represent that line. Yay. And if I do the red one next, yeah, 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 I can do that. All right, red, and then. So, M equals rise over on. Why do I keep doing that? Because I drummed into it, well, my mass teacher, that it's always good to write the formula first. Now this time we go up one across two. No, we go <laughs> up two and across one. So that's like that. Up two across one. M equals two divided by one is two. Done. So the next one is the diamond. Ooh, let me just turn the weather off there. You don't want to get wet numbers. It's messy. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So the next one is the diamond one. So I'm just going to steal a diamond here. There, there. Okay, grab one of them. Now, this time, M is equal to rise over run. M is equal to, this time it's one up and Two across. So m is equal to half. That's easy enough. So that works for well, pretty much any line. All you have to do is work out how much you go up or down. If you go down with a negative number. Should we do one of them? There you go. Alright, so let's put in another one. This time we're going to look at negative numbers. I'm going to start with a zero and go. Cross one, up three. So that one there. Cross one, up three. Cross one, up three. Voila! <laughs> okay, and this time we're going to go this way. Cross one, down three. tell by the numbers I'm using that it's actually going to be using ones and threes of some kind. Alright, so now it's going in the opposite direction as the other one. So let's work out now this. Okay, so this time we start here, we go across one, so that's positive, and down three, so that's a negative. Okay. So let's grab our little board. Okay. M equals rise over run. Okay. M equals. Now this time it's the rise is downwards, so it's negative. And we go down three. And we go across one. So that means M is equal to negative 3. Anything negative, you know you're going down. 
also cheap. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something really cool. You might have noticed a pattern with those numbers, and I'm gonna show you. Um, I, I can't resist to make this big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y and a cute little equal sign. I'm gonna make that that high because equal signs are cute. There we go. And M. I have made so many signs in Minecraft. This is probably the most basic of all. <laughs> Girl, put an M there. Mm. And I'm gonna put a time sign. Oh, we want. Yeah, I do need a time sign. Uh, no, I won't. I'm just gonna straight to it. Okay, this is an X. There we go. Trust me, this is a beautiful X. There we go. That's an R and X. There we go. So Y equals M times X. <laughs> it really wants to rain. What does that mean? Well, it's really cool because you can actually work out the equation of this line. So you just use your M. Out. Mm. Where you got the Y number, which in this one is 1, your X number is 1. In this one, in Y is 2, X is 2. In y is 3, X is 3. 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, infinity, infinity. Okay, so this line has Y is equal to M, which we know now is 1 times x. So that means if I go to here, I wonder if I can put one on top of the cool. I can actually add to it. Oh my god, this is going to That means that the equation is y equals 1x. Or we can just write it down as y equals x. That's the equation for that line. one here, y is equal to 2 times x. This one, y is equal to half times x. Now there's another way you can write that, it's pretty easy. So y is equal to half times x. We could just leave it like that. Voila! So now we've got these really cool lines with their equations. Hang on a minute. They're, they're all going through this thing here. This dot. So do all lines have to go through? No. And here's Brody's ones that I'm showing you now that show you that you can have lines going everywhere. But that means that some lines that have got the same gradient have got the same equation. We've got to be able to tell one from another. So I'm going to introduce a new thing. That's right, a new thing. Let's find a new color. Oh, gold. A new cute little thing that will help us determine exactly what the equation is for any line no matter where it is on the grid on the plane and this is it c that's right c c stands for the number on the y-axis this is the y-axis here voila all these will become the letter c so how does this work? Well, all you have to do is add that to the end. So if I put 
little bit plus on here. That's not a plus one. Plus. And then put my C in. I have got the full equation for any line ever, ever, ever made on a two-dimensional space. So how does it work? Well, it's pretty simple. It still works for mine because all of these are at zero. Okay, so the C is zero, so plus zero is zero. So if I go back to this, and I put in plus zero to show <laughs> that that's where the line is. Pretty simple. I mean, you wouldn't normally write the plus zero in, but I just wanted to show you that that's why these still work. So now I can have a bit of fun with these. Why? Let's put this one in. Negative, oops, negative 3x and then a plus 3. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so let's put another line in and I'm going to make it uh, up here. All right, so I'm just going to put in a line here that's going to be gold. I'm just going to make it a pretty simple one, y equals x. So the gradient's going to be one. It's up like that. Here we go. How cool is that? For being adorable. Now just to show that goes through that point, I'm just going to break that and put that there. Voila. So there's a line that goes forever. And we're going to find the actual uh, equation for it. So. I plot a little block down here and put in my little thing here. Now let's work out what m is first. m equals rise over run. m is equal to 1 divided by 1. That's easy. <laughs> so that's the easy bit there. Now we know there's going to be what y plus mx plus c. So, how about sheepy? You helping me, sheepy? Good, because I need all the help I can get. Y equals mx plus c. So we know that now. So y is equal to 1 times x. Let's see, I don't know what c is yet. Hmm, let's go and count. Okay, so that's 0 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So C is at 14. So, that's it. So we can actually put that number in. 14. So, we don't really need to have 1 times X there. So let's finish the formula. Y plus X plus 14 is the equation of the line that is represented by the gold. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that because that is how you do maths in Minecraft. For jumping all over blocks and stuff. Yes. Alright, I'd like to see you draw lines. I'd like to see you make little cute little signs like I've done next to the blocks to represent all the cool different lines that you can get. And uh, you know, show it off to your teacher because you know, you know what you do well. Yes, it is. And then show your mom. You know. Okay, guys, I will see you next lesson. Peace.